All right, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahu Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahu Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahu Shai. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone Ruwa, and I want to give a peace, and greetings, and salutations to all the Legakim that's pushing his word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness, you know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Mommy Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to you, sincere I can, you know. My lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Shai, is going to be, is going to be basically on the so-called UFOs, man, which is the ch chariots of Israel in the Bible, man. All right, what the world alien called UFOs, those are the vehicles, all right, that the angels ride in, all right. And also, all right, the vehicle that our Lord Yahweh shall ride in, all right, who the world equally call uh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, we got precepts to prove it. This is the book of, uh, in the same way our Lord left, all right, our Lord Yahweh shall is the same way he coming back, according to the Bible. All right, this is the book of Acts chapter 1. In verse 6, it says, Then they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time Restore again the kingdom to Israel. So these are the disciples right, that was asking our Lord Yahweh Shai, is it this is this the time to restore the kingdom back to Israel? Because the kingdom of heaven and the fullness and the glory of it is for Israel. All right, because the Most High Yahweh gave all power and all dominion unto our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, let's get that. Let's prove that point right quick. And I'll finish off on that. Acts. This book of Daniel chapter seven. This often. Uh, scriptures proven by uh, the chariots, so-called UFOs. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, in verse 9, it says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down, I mean, these uh, rulerships, all right, and the Ancient of Days did sit. Who is the Ancient of Days? The Most High, Yahweh, whose garment was like, like, whose garment was white as snow, and his hair like the pure wool. So the Most High, he had a white garment on, all right, and his hair was uh white. He was pure. All right, he had a, a pure, uh woolly hair. All right, the pure wool. It says whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. So the most how would be a so called uh black male. All right, a dark skinned man. All right, with woolly hair. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as the burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth. From before him, thousands, thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, and, ju and the judgment was set, and the books were opened. All right, so the angels were ministering unto our Lord Yahweh. All right, verse um, 11, it says, I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. It's, you know, it says, I beheld till the beast was slain. All right, NATO, EU. It says in his body destroyed and given to the burning flame as concerning the rest of the beasts they had their dominion taken away yet their lives were prolonged for a season and a time because all these nations are going into slavery verse 13 i saw in the night visions behold one like the son of man so it's making this the, a distinction between the heavenly father and the son of man which is our lord yahusha and i saw in the night visions behold and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Where's the clouds of heaven? The angels, man. And came to the Ancient of Days. So, so Yahweh Shah came to the Most High. And they brought him near before him. Verse 14. That was given him dominion and glory in a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. And his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom which shall not be destroyed. So the Lord, the Most High, gave Yahweh Shah dominion and a glory and a kingdom that that all people nations languages should serve him his dominion is the everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom that which which shall not be destroyed we know our lord is evident that our lord sprung out of judah all right our lord all right is a hebrew israelite and the kingdom of israel is going to be for israel all right that's why the disciples asked him lord is it, is it that this time will you restore the kingdom back to israel 
Acts 1 and verse 9. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. All right. His chariots are like into a cloud. Let's, let's get that precept. Let's get the Psalms. Chapter 1. 104 in verse 3. Who layeth the beams, the beams of his chariots in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariots? His chariot, who maketh so like who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Right, who maketh the clouds his chariots? So the, the chariot, the clouds, all right, when they say clouds, it's representing the chariots, so-called UFO. Alright. So a cloud took our Lord Yahusha up all right, while the disciples were looking. Acts 1 and 9 again. It says, When they had when he had spoken these things, they while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by him, stood by them in white apparel, talking about the angels. Verse 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like men as you see him go into heaven. So the same way the Lord, all right, left is the same way he's going to come back in like men. All right, in a cloud, a chariot. It's a book of, uh, you know, Revelation chapter 1 in verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, talking about the Lord Yahusha, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so Amar. And that word world, a uh, well is kopto in the Greek meaning cut, all right, to strike. And the Lord's going to strike through, all right, many kings when he comes back, all right. All right, and me and the brother Samak, you know, just a quick testimony. We saw a chariot last night, man, on the way home from fellowship, uh, from, from camp and fellowship, you know, you know, breaking bread with the brothers, you know, and we just, you know, at camp talking about our, the salvation of uh, uh, prophesying and the salvation and the deliverance and the Lord had us you know see the chariots together man all right just how when we was in the, uh Egypt the Lord led us out he destroyed Pharaoh and their army all right in the while, while we was in the wilderness I the Lord had the pillar of fire by night and the cloud by day which is representing the chariot man all right so the same way the Lord all right was guiding us all right out of the land of Egypt with the chariots the same way the Lord is going to deliver us. All right, we're going to be physically caught up inside the chariots, man. All right, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24, just to prove that point. Matthew chapter 24. In verse um, 30. It says, Matthew 24 and 29. It says, immediately after the tribulation, tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give it a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Right, this is our Lord Yahusha. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So the Lord is coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory with the angels, man. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. So the Lord is going to gather his elect that was scattered from one end of earth unto the other one, man. It's book of Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21 in verse, bear with me. Um, 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations and per with perplexity, the seas and waves roaring. Men's heart fell in them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So it's going to be a terrible time, man. Verse 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when they shall, so like, verse 29, I mean, verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw nigh. All right, so that's how we're going to be delivered, man. In the chariots, man. This is the book Isaiah chapter 26, I believe. Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter down into my chambers. What are the chambers? The the, the chariots, man. All right? That's how we're going to be saved from this 
wrath that the Lord's about to bring, man. The Lord's going to call up the elect in the chariot, so-called UFO, and we're going to be in there until the end of the nation pass over. All right, the righteous angel, the judgment of Yahweh Isaiah 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut the, thy doors about thee and hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the end of the nation be overpassed. So that's how I, the elect is going to escape. All right, through all right, the Lord coming back and delivering us, man. Lord willing, we are part of the elect number. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. This is the Lord calling the, calling the elect of the nation of Israel into the chariot. Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. Talking about America, because America I, is uh, divided into ten parts according to FEMA. I, and the scripture said a great earthquake, because those missiles, thermonuclear missiles from Iran, China, North Korea, all of them that been the bow is going to shoot nuclear missiles at America and it's going to seem like a great earthquake because the whole earth is going to rock to and fro. Scripture said the earth shall rock to and fro like a drunkard. It says, and the tenth part of the city fell and the earthquake was slain of men 7,000, meaning a complete amount of men. And the remnant were frightened, talking about the elect that was delivered, and, and gave glory to the power of heaven. Verse 14, the second war is past, and behold, the third war coming quickly. Talking about World War Three. So World War Three is coming quickly, man. The second war is past, World War Two passed, World War One passed, World War Two passed, World War Three comes quickly. Verse 15, and the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his anointed, and he shall reign forever and ever. So the Lord is coming back to deliver the elect while destroying his enemies. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 66. In verse 15, it says, Isaiah 66 and 15, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. This is how the Lord coming. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the slain of the Lord is going to be many. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 25 in verse 30 therefore prophesy thou against them all these words and say unto them the Lord shall roar on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation he shall mightily roar upon his habitation he shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth a noise shall come even to the ends of the earth for the Lord has a controversy with the nations he will plead, meaning judge, with all flesh, and give him, he will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be rise, rise up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, neither buried, nor neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground, man. I saw a lot of death is going to be happening, man. From one end of the earth until the other end of the earth, man. All right, but the elect is going to be delivered, man. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot in inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither the corrupt corruption inherit incorruption because of while we've been delivered, all right, well, when we get delivered, all right, the Lord's going to give us new bodies, man. We're going to be changed when we get delivered in the chair. The Lord going to change our body. All right. We're going to put off this mortal and put on immortality. All right. And the Lord going to put the law, statute, and commandments on our inward part. We're going to be perfect. All Israel is going to be righteous, starting with the elect. All right. Because two-thirds, they're going to die on this side. They're going to have to come back through the elect. All right. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. All right, be delivered. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. The last trump is when those missiles. All right, because we're going to be delivered during the sixth. All right, the, the sixth uh, to the seventh, man. All right, because we, by the seventh, when the trial seven trumpet blows, we're going to have to be delivered. Because the scripture say. Uh, let me get Job just to explain it more. Job chapter 5. 
in verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Why? Because the Lord's going to keep us, man. All right, and that seven trumpet, that last trump is the seven trumpet. First Corinthians 15 and verse 2. In the moment in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed, because we're going to have new bodies. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory, because the Lord, he conquered death. All right, so we're going to shed these mortal corruptible bodies you will have incorruptible bodies and immortality verse 55 oh death where is thy sting oh great where is thy victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to yahweh by shema shai the most high yahweh which gives us the victory through our lord yahweh shah mashiach so we got the victory through our lord because he's going to deliver us verse uh 58 therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So our labor is not in vain. This is the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13. But I, would, I, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope, because there's going to be brothers that's going to die in this truth. They're going to have to be beheaded for the for the testimony of our Lord Yahweh because they didn't receive the mark. They didn't bow down to the image of the beast no, or or uh, take the RFID to the mark of the beast, man. All right? They didn't worship the image, all right? Which is the revised Roman Empire. Verse 14, For if we believe that Yahweh died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh will the Most High bring with them. I right, said so the ones who died, the, when the Lord returns, they come in with them in the chariots. Verse 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So the ones who are alive, all right, there's going to be men on earth that's going to be alive when the Lord comes. And there's going to be men that, that died right, that's going to come back with the Lord. This is the book of Mark chapter 9, verse 1. And he saith unto them, verily I say unto you, meaning truly. That there be some of them that shall, some of them that stand here, which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of the Most High come with power. All right, so there's gonna be some men that's not gonna taste death, man. All right. First Thessalonians four sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. We read that in Revelation eleven. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. All right, they're going to come with the Lord. Verse 17, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in, a, in the clouds, in the chariots, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So the Lord is going to deliver us, and we're going to be with the Lord forever, man. And we comfort one, one another with these words, man. All right? And more on the UFO. Zechariah chapter 5, verse 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Verse 3. Then it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. All right, because this is the curse. All right, the Lord is going to have laser fire coming up out of the chairs. And they're going to destroy America, man. For everyone that still is shall be cut off as on this, on this side according to it. All right? And how is America founded? By theft. And everyone that swears, swears shall be cut off as on that side according to it. All right? And they swear upon the Bible. All right, verse 4. And I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And in the house... In, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, and with the stones thereof, because America's going to go out violent, man. All right? America's going to go out violent. Let's look at um, First Kings, or the Second Kings, bear with me. Let's roll it through the Spirit. 
Second Kings chapter two in verse nine. And it came to pass when they were going over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Elisha was uh, Elijah's understudy. Ask what shall I do for them for thee before I am taken away from thee? Because Elisha, I mean Elijah was taken away in the in the chariot. Right, he was he was uh, abducted. I right, translated. Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon thee. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be it shall be so unto thee. But if not, ye shall not so it shall not be so. Verse eleven. And it came to pass as they went on and talked. That behold, there appointed, so there appeared a there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. So just how the Lord went into a cloud, and he got the uh the, the ships. The angel said, "Why you beheld uh uh the disciples looked up their their eyes and said uh they saw the Lord being delivered." I mean, uh, taken away in the clouds, like it. Yeah. I the same way Elijah was taken in, into heaven. First Kings twelve and verse, uh, First Kings two and twelve. And Elijah and Elisha saw it, and he cried, "My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof." And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in pieces. So he saw, all right, he saw, all right, the chariots. All right, and it's all over the scriptures, man. All right, that's how the Lord's coming. That's how America's gonna be destroyed. If I can get one more precept, I get one more. I close out. All right, because this is our way out. All right, this is the way our way out of this captivity, man. You read the second Ezra thirteen, how the Lord is gonna come, all right, and destroy the armies. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth that brought out the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right, because we're going to celebrate a new Passover. All right, verse 15. But but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, talking about America, and from all the lands where he have driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Right, so this going to be this deliverance going to be top the deliverance of ancient Egypt. And how is how are we going to be delivered? And we read it in the scriptures by the chariot, man. All right. The elect was caught up into the clouds, caught up into a cloud, man. And the Lord had delivered them from all the lands that they were scattered, man. You know, so the Lord willing, this lesson was uh, edifying, you know, just a quick lesson, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Shalom, and then. Lord willing, it was edifying to the elect. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakudash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders, that great millstones rule well. And I want to give up peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it doing, Shalom.